It's been a long time since you've seen any videos on this channel, let alone a video with a box. Look at this box. This is a very lengthy box. Very peculiar size box. And this is a box that I've been waiting for for a pretty long time. And there are lots of extenuating circumstances that uh, we don't really need to go into for this video. Suffice it to say that after some patient communication on both sides and some repeated attempts, I finally have two different Kickstarter reward deliveries in one, which is fantastic to get that level of service. What am I talking about? Well, long, long ago, a company named Nocturnal Games put out a Kickstarter for a translation of a famous Spanish game, Aqualair. That may not be its correct pronunciation, but maybe from that pronunciation be able to understand what I'm talking about. And one of the pledges that you could go for was not for that game at all, but for an offset press version of Pendragon, the 5.2 edition, which features, again, in collusion with uh, its Spanish licensee, with some fantastic art from the Spanish edition. So I have a lot of copies of Pendragon, and I thought, you know, it would really be nice to have one that is that's gorgeous. And uh, according to my own particular sense of aesthetics. <laughs> so I backed that project. And not too long after that, I backed one called Paladin, also by Nocturnal. And there have been many barriers between the days of backing and this day of delivery to impede the progress. Now, most backers for both projects have gotten their stuff and gotten it long ago. And this is my first real experience as a Kickstarter backer being one of the people for whom there has been a serious or ongoing problem. But through uh, the patience and dedication of uh, Alan Barr, who runs Gallant Knight Games and has been handling the fulfillment process for Nocturnal Games after uh, the tragedy of losing its, its founder and, and creator. Here we go. So, you'll notice that the box doesn't look like it came through the mail, and that's because it was delivered uh, by DHL. DHL had some trouble with it locally uh, in customs, so this has been, been sitting in a customs office for seven days. But, but here we go, now I've got it. So it hasn't had to be you know, folded, spindled, or mutilated by various postal services as it's made its way around the world to me. So I have a lot of optimism that the contents will be in good shape. Plus, this box, it's, it's a heavy box, and although you know there is sign of some impact drama, uh, it's a nice thick cardboard. The corners are in great shape, so uh, let's see if my, my faith and my optimism will be rewarded. Cut through this packing tape. Whoa. And now we have this big lid that folds back, and inside there is another big lid of the same size. I like this box design. Uh, the length of the box is kind of peculiar, but uh, especially for books. And another lid, and another lid. Now I'm looking down at foam packing peanuts, and my invoice, and on the very top, nestled in a small sea of peanuts are the dice. Right, we've got D6s, more D6s, four, you know, pen dragon. And there are more dice that slid off the side, more sixes, 
Well, we'll keep looking for for dice as we as we dig deeper. All right. So we got set of three d six, set of three d six. The the six face has been replaced by. This very royal symbol. Right. And we have yellow D6s. Okay, for Paladin. Where the six has been replaced by this very royal sigil. We'll look at those more closely later. Now, it's easy for me to get at the books. So this top book, <laughs> The Peanuts. They're escaping. This top book is the scenario uh, collection. It's called Paladin Adventures. On the back, it says, Hail, brave knights. Have you ever seen flattened peanuts? <laughs> Hail, brave knights. Within this tome, you'll find eight adventures for knights in your epic Paladin Chronicles. Okay. Hardcover. Gold gilded pages. Okay. And... see. Hello. Full color interiors. Quite nice. The imprint on the back. Uh, this project has since moved on to be distributed by Chaosium. And, uh, you know, in, in a perfect world where all the backers had received all of their stuff all at once, uh, this video would have been released uh, a year ago or more. And, uh, but anyway, so Nocturnal, and using the Pendragon system, now distributed by Chaos. All right, so this is the scenario book, Eight Adventures for Paladin. Put that over there. And then the next thing in the pile, interesting. This is separating one book from the other book. That's quite nice. Is the 5.2 edition of Pendragon. Oh, crushed right. Nice and thick, in shrink wrap. This one bears the imprint of Nocturnal only, which is interesting. Right. Nice and heavy. I will take the, the shrink wrap off, but later. <laughs> and then the source of this particular delivery, really. The thing that made the rest possible is Paladin. Right. Very large. By comparison, Pendragon is typically, in its, in its editions, a pretty slim volume. This one is expanded for its various art assets. Paladin was always going to be large, which is one of the things that drew my attention. It was uh, going to be uh, vast, maybe split across two books, it's so vast uh, kind of thing, but thanks to good layout uh, design, uh, it was shrunk down to just merely be very large. <laughs> so again, gilt pages, this time not uh, in shrink wrap, so we can easily open it up and demonstrate full color interiors again with the gilt pages, and so on and so forth. Yeah. That was quite nice, I think. So it, it's walking a fine line between looking like a medieval manuscript and looking like a Pendragon game book. If you're not familiar with Paladin, Paladin is setting you at the time of Charlemagne. And it says it's set in medieval Europe. Paladin weaves together the historical Carolingian events and the medieval epics of the Matter of France into a single chronology. Right. So like in Pendragon, where you're moving down through history uh, toward the, the rise of Arthur and so on and so forth, here we are vying for glory in the legacy of the court of Charlemagne. Paladin. Yeah, I've been wondering about dice. 
You also need d20s to play this game. So we have blue, Pendragon, and yellow for Paladin. And the one, can we be in focus? <laughs> the one is replaced by a single crown. And the one here is replaced. Okay. Pretty dramatic. Classic feel of the dice. Now I'm out of focus. All right, is there anything lurking in this bizarre box? Nothing but peanuts. So we have reached the end of this unboxing. There will be more talk about Paladin and Pendragon, uh, I'm pretty sure, later on. And until then, thanks for watching. And I hope to talk to you more regularly soon.